Hey guys, it's me Nugget again. Um, I'm back and I've been getting a lot of questions on how to do a paint shop in Content Manager Showroom. Um, and if you don't know what paint shop is, basically it's this feature in Content Manager Showroom that allows you to paint the car any color using a color palette um, that you get to choose, you know, you can choose any color uh, for multiple parts. And I've been getting a lot of questions on how you can get this to work and how you can use this. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So hopefully I can simplify things in the future and I don't have to explain to everyone how to do this every time. Um, so now the first step to doing this is you need uh, an AO. You don't really need an AO, but if you don't have one, you should make one. Um, don't run your cars without an AO, please, please, please don't, please don't do that. Please don't. Okay, so right now I'm gonna, I have my map set up, so I'm gonna bake my AO. Um, it's best if you start with a fresh one, but you can use one you've already baked. Anyways, the, what I'm about to do also works with that. So I'm going to save this here as my um, body, whatever, doesn't matter. After you've saved your texture, your diffuse, your AO for your car, what you need to do next is open it in GIMP or Photoshop or any program that you can paint the channels. And once you get that open, what you're going to have to do, um, I'm going to show GIMP in this video but if you know your photoshop you can find your way around photoshop and you can also uh, google things because everything i do in gimp is going to be applicable to photoshop as well you can do all the stuff in photoshop uh, so what you're going to have to do in gimp at least i think it does come in rgb um it does go in rgb uh, when you import in Photoshop, but I'm not sure. Either way, you need to be in RGB mode. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to take the alpha channel, you're going to delete it. You can see the image data is still there. I haven't deleted anything in the red, green, and blue channels. So for example, if I were to paint over this channel, you can see everything is still there. And then you're going to export that, and that is going to be your diffuse so you're going to export the uh, dxt5 if you can or r8 b8 g8 a um, if you're in photoshop and you're going to then after you export that you can see i've exported it here it should look black or empty it should not have the um should not have the actual image of the body there because that, that's an important part of having the tiling. If you don't have that there, then anything on the diffuse will be put on top of the tiling. So ex for example, if you have lit liveries and you wanna change the color underneath, then you just have, uh, you just erase only the parts you want. So let's say if I want just the top to be white, like if say there was a livery on the top and I didn't want that to be gone, then what I would do is I would just erase this part here erase these parts erase these parts and then only this would be the part that's not colored so that's what you do if you want to change the colors with deliveries on top um, but since i'm not doing that right now what you're going to do then next is scale to half so uh, 512 in this case then you're going to go to select the green channel and the alpha channel and you're going to paint them white. So, there you go. And then you export that as whatever body and score map. Same settings, everything. And that's gonna be your TX map. Okay, then you open your car in KS Editor. And for your body, you're going to want to select the per pixel multi-map. 
shader. Uh, set all your shader values for what you want, but there is one thing you have to keep in mind here is the use detail shader and you want that to be one. And that allows us to use the TX detail slot. If you don't select that, it will not use the TX detail slot. And then the other one is the detail UV multiplier, which is basically just affects the tiling of the detail, uh, TX detail texture. So in this case, uh, usually they're pretty small. So I'm going to do 60 roundabout. That value should be good in most cases. You can look at other cars in Content Manager Showroom to see what they have and uh, if yours doesn't work quite as well. Okay, so for your TX Diffuse slot, you're going to want to select the AO that you just uh, made painted the alpha black. So I've already done that. You can see that it's, it is shaded here. Ignore the um, headlights. I, <laughs> I forgot to map those embarrassingly. Uh, so those aren't going to be looking very good, but the rest of the body is fine. It doesn't matter for this example. And then for the TX map slot, what you're going to do is add your TX map that you created. And you can already see that's changed the way the car looks. It's made it more reflective. And that's basically what it, it is doing. Um, and then for your TX detail slot, what you're going to do is put metal detail. So this is an important texture. This is what colors the what handles the color of your car. Um, and you may notice that even though I have metal detail here in the TX detail slot, it's not showing up with color. That's because I do not have use detail on. And now once I turn that on, you can see it becomes red. So any color that I change for this, um, uh, will become the color of the car. And you can see actually that it is being tiled. So there is flakes going on here that uh, that's also an option that you can have if you create these textures which you can also create these textures and create your own flakes etc um, but now you're good to go so now you can save your car um, so I'm gonna save this here okay and then you can see if I go into content manager showroom I have the option here for car paint and now I can change the color of the car to whatever I like and I also can adjust the flakes which you won't be able to see so well in this showroom but you they are there and you may notice there's another option here called rims and you might be wondering well Nugget how do you do rims how do you do other parts I've seen textures like leather being changed colors within paint, paint shop um, so that's where this comes in uh, this is a page in the wiki uh, the CSP wiki that lists all the names of the guest TX detail textures in paint shop so basically what you have here is all the names of what would go in your TX detail slot to show up in the paint shop. So for example, car paint and metal detail will show up for car paint and car paint rims and or rim detail will show up as rims and car paint roll cage will show up as roll cage uh, metal detail roof will show up as the roof carpet uh, seat belt seat logos plastic details cloth etc these are all in here and these are also the options that you have here carpet interior trim interior fabric these are also options except the difference with these is that you can add multiple so let's say you want to have something in the car a different color uh, or if you want to have your trim a different color than the color of your body what you would do then is you would open it open ks editor again open your folder where you keep the textures and go to metal detail and then just make a copy of that and rename it metal detail underscore one and that'll allow you to have 
multiple uh, metal details. And I believe the, yeah, the wiki says you can have, oh, sorry, metal detail one will not work. You'll have to start with two. Uh, but the wiki says you can have up to eight of these uh, for rim detail and metal detail each. And you can also have six of these. Now, the way to do this though, is that you'll have to have different materials for the body and the trim or whatever else you want to paint. So I've set up an example for my IS300. I have, uh, this is, by the way, this is by far not the best way to do this. They're not the most optimized way to do this. Um, so I'm not sure of a better option. You can usually bake them all um, on the same map, put them all on the same map and bake one AO and do each one with different materials. But I didn't do that, so I just did AO for each one individually, which I know it's not very well optimized, but still it, it works fine. Um, but basically the way this works is I have a rim detail here, and then for every other part, so let's say the bolts, I have rim detail three. Or for the gold text here, I have rim detail four. So the way mine is set up now is I can change rim every part of the rim that i want uh so i can change this to be whatever color i want i can change this to be whatever color i want i can change the you know the bolts to be whatever color i want and same with the text uh, the, the logo there the uh, vs logo and so this this is really works the same way as if you were to do the ao for the body so you take your rim ao here, which is not not the best but you know it works um, same flat NM you, you make your map scale it down and then you put a detail on it and the only thing that really matters here is the name and make sure you have use detail on uh, the most common issue I see why people don't get it working first try is they a either a don't make the a alpha black on their AO uh, B they don't have use detail on uh, metal detail is case sensitive by the way so don't put any capitals in it or else it will not work but yeah now you should be good to go to be able to paint your cars and paint shop that's really all i've got to say please don't <laughs> please don't ask me how to do this again because there's only two ways it could go wrong basically and i'm i'm kind of tired of explaining it but Go ahead and make your cool cars, make them work in paint shop. If I see a car that does not work in paint shop, I will immediately refer this to this video because you're doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah, every car should be able to do this. It's not hard. It's literally just a change with a couple textures. So, yep, that's that's all. I'm signing off now. Uh, see you in a tutorial in <laughs> six months. Hey, it's me, Nugget in Editing. Uh, so in the video, I forgot to mention, if you have any problems, feel free to join my Discord and people there will be sure to help you out. Or if you have any specific problems that no one else can help you out with, maybe I might be able to help you out too. The Discord has 2,000 members and it's still growing strong. We got plenty of modders in the community, photographers, players of the like. They'll help you with anything. We have an entire category dedicated to parts that we share to the community uh, to allow you to create better, more detailed, better looking mods, better feeling mods. And generally it's just a great place to be if you have any questions about modding or just want to talk in general. So make sure you join.